Hi and welcome to a quick video tutorial regarding finding hidden or annoying bearing noises. This Mercedes E500 4Matic actually has a really annoying deacceleration whine. That is when you're driving around 35-40 miles per hour and you take your foot off the gas you get quite an audible whine from somewhere in the driveline. Now I wanted to use a tool called a chassis ear to try to find where that noise was coming from and that's exactly what I did. So I have all of the wires running to various different parts under the vehicle, namely the transfer case, the center carrier bearing, the rear axle, and the two rear wheel bearings or the hubs. The idea is, is that you drive with the vehicle at various different speeds and you get to pick which microphone you're listening to and that will Give you the sound coming from each area and i can already confirm that this device does actually pick up the whining sound and pinpointed it to the rear differential but to show you how this all works i've set up a speaker in my car and all you really do is once you have your cables underneath the vehicle you have your channels one is my front transfer case, two is the center carrier, three is the rear axle, uh, I'm sorry, rear differential, and then these last two channels, five and six, those are the back left and right wheels. Now, I haven't found any noise on those, which is a very good sign. Um, however, I did find noise on the differential. So what we'll do is we'll take you for a quick drive and we'll show you the sound. And um, one of the things you can do with this is you can turn the volume up and down and you can literally compare the sound to the deacceleration so you you know you can tell it's exactly the sound that you're picking up it's very very clear on this vehicle so we'll start this uh driving segment with the uh volume turned up we're on the center carrier bearing and i'm in a residential street so uh, my max speed is going to be 25 miles per hour but that's enough to be honest with you to tell if you have any excessive noise um, and then a little bit faster, uh, in my case, for the, uh, the rear axle whining sound. Uh, but just to note that you can use this device for various different applications. It doesn't have to be wheel bearings. It can be suspension components, anything that has a clunk noise to it. You can attach this and you'll be able to hear it and hopefully pinpoint the actual area where the sound is coming from. Um, so let's set off um, right now. Let's get up to 25 miles per hour. Hopefully you can hear there's nothing up towards. The sound is quite normal. If I switch to the rear axle, that's letting off the gas. Accelerating. Letting off the gas. Now I'm going to go to the front transfer case. Now you can see we do get quite a lot of noise from the front transfer case. But none of it matches the sound that I get in the cab cabin while I'm driving and deaccelerating. So I'm at a stop sign. I'm accelerating. This is the transfer case. And you don't really hear anything other than just that loud noise. I'm going to go back to the rear differential. And now we're on the main street, so I'm going to accelerate to 40 miles per hour and show you the difference. So we're at 40 miles per hour, I'm going to let off the gas. So, 
So to connect the microphones or pickup sensors to the objects on your vehicle, uh, really what you want to be doing is, let me show you. You'll have, with your kit, a number of these cables that look like a jumper lead, okay? All you're gonna do is you go ahead and you're gonna connect this and run the cable. Make sure it's not dragging on the ground. Uh, they do provide the Velcro strips for you to secure these cables under the vehicle. Uh, you can also get a wireless transmitter version, which is pretty much the same. You have this receiver box and you can connect to a speaker or use the headphones provided. But at the same time, you don't have the cables traipsing on the vehicle. So what I'll do is I'll provide a link to both of these options um, in the, the description on YouTube. And um, yeah, please go ahead and check them out. They honestly... Uh, it's it's just so much easier with an all-wheel drive vehicle it's very difficult to jack that vehicle up and have it running in the air at any kind of speed that it's you know you can detect what's going on um you know <sighs> this just really cuts out the guesswork um it, it to me it sounded like a center carrier bearing and um you know it's not it's as, it's as simple as that the center bearer carrying is fine it's um it's definitely a differential so, um, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Thank you very much for watching. Hope it helps.